Welcome to the Rebel to Succeed podcast. It's your boy, Inc. Anthony Williams, the founder of RebelToSucceed.com. The purpose of this podcast is to share tips, advice, and strategies to help you improve in all areas of your life. My mission is to make a positive difference in your life to help you live your best life. Now let's get it. What up, Rebels? It's your boy, Ian, from Rebel to Succeed, coming at you with another podcast episode. So, in this podcast episode, in this podcast episode, I'm going to have uh, Steve Harvey on the show again, um, another one of my favorite motivational speakers. I know a lot of people may not think of him as a motivational speaker, but he definitely considers himself a motivational speaker and he has a lot of motivational um content. So I invite you guys to go check out his stuff um on YouTube. But I, you know, he shared this one clip that really resonated with me because it's it's like a, you know, a sore spot for me because I am not a well, you know what? I'm going to play the clip. I'm going to play the clip, and then I'll, I'll share my thoughts after. So check out this clip by Steve Harvey. I got in Amway when I was 21 years old. This I'm going to tell you the story. My distributor was this guy named, my sponsor was a guy named John Walker. I lived in Cleveland. He lived in Rochester, New York. I got laid off from Ford Motor Company. I wasn't working, so I didn't have no reason to get up in the morning. Every single morning at 5.30 on the dot, my phone would ring. i pick up the phone. Hello. Steve, this is John Walker. How you doing, man? It's going to be a great day. How you feeling? Yeah, John, I'm asleep, man. Hey, man, it's going to be a great day. And he'd hang up. <laughs> the next day at 5.30 in the morning, bring Hello. Steve, this is John Walker. How you doing, man? It's going to be a great day. How you doing today? John, I'm asleep, man. Hey, man, I just want to tell you it's going to be a great day. Click. <laughs> Next morning. Bring. Hello? Now, I'm mad now. You know, this <laughs> been going on a couple weeks, and I kind of know who it is. He didn't change a damn thing. Steve, it's John Walker. How you doing, man? It's going to be a great day today. Man, I was so <laughs> mad, man. I hang out. <laughs> phone up. 37 days in a row, he called me the exact same way because he was teaching me something. I didn't know it. And every single day I picked the phone up. Yeah. Steve, John Walker, man. It's <laughs> man. Yeah, John. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. Click. And then one day, the 38th day, he, he told me how many days it was. He kept record. He picked up the phone. He said, I said, hello? He said, hey, Steve, it's John Walker. I said, yeah, man. He said, man, can I ask you something? I said, yeah, John. He said, why do you answer the phone like that in the morning? I said, what are you talking about? He said, every time I call you, I've called you 37 days in a row, and you keep answering the phone like something's wrong. I said, hey, man, I got laid off. I'm getting unemployment. You know, I ain't got to get up early, man. I said, w- w- what's up? He said, I'm really disappointed in you, man. He said, man, when you going to change your attitude? I said, ain't nothing wrong with my attitude. He said, yeah, it is. He said, when you wake up in the morning, man, you got a bad attitude, which pretty much explains why you've been having a lot of bad days. And he said, man, I hate that about you, man, because you're such a cool dude. You got so much potential. He said, man, I'm sorry to bother you. And he hung the phone up. Man, let me tell you something. That, 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 that cut me so deep, man. Because, you know, I don't like nobody thinking I'm something. But I'm acting like I ain't. That, 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 you don't even understand what they did to me. So the next morning, I thought about this all day. I said, man, this dude, he been playing me for 37 days. <laughs> been calling me, oh, 
Oh, Next morning, I'm damn near sitting up in the bed. When this ran, this right here. Hello? Hey, Steve, it's John Walker. I said, hey, John, what's happening, man? What's going on with you, baby? I said, it's Steve Harvey, man. He said, Steve, how's it going? I said, man, I'm having a great day, man. I'm having a great day, John, man. You don't believe it, man. I got some great stuff gonna be happening. He said, man, you my man. Click, and he hung up. And I wanted him to ask me what had happened, but he never did. <laughs> then one day he called me, he said, hey, man, you're gonna be sheer greatness because you've learned how to wake up. <gasps> 21 years later, 22, I got a gig in Chicago on the radio. You know what I was? The morning drive guy. You know what I've been doing since 1991? Every single morning, I'm in 112 cities. I talk to nine and a half million people every week. I have the number one adult contemporary radio show in the world. I wake people up every morning and I wake people up with the right attitude because my attitude changed. So God turned me into the morning man. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Cut it on and watch how I do your every morning. So that was a clip by Steve Harvey. And, you know, man. So I feel like I'm a, I'm a very positive person, right? So my attitude, I, what I do nowadays is I match people's vibes. You know what I mean? I try to stay positive as much as possible, but I'm, I'll, I'll definitely match your vibe, right? I would definitely match your vibe uh, because I, I'm not going to sit around and let people or allow people to um, walk all over me. But I try to, you know, I try to keep my attitude as positive as possible. But in this clip, you know, Steve is talking about, you know, you know, the morning, you know, waking up a certain way. And I feel like that's very important because, um, I know that I'm not really a morning person. I, me, I'm one of those night owls. I'm the type of people that um, I can get a lot done while everybody sleep. Like, that's just how I am. I'm, that's the way I'm built. So I don't know why I never was like a five in the morning type of person. But I definitely will be up, you know, one, two in the morning getting the work done. You know what I mean? But at five, six, I'm dead to the world. You know what I mean? But while you sleeping at nine and ten, I'm up getting it, getting it, getting it done. So, um, but I do believe that the way you start your day is very important. So you have to. That could be, you know, whether you starting your day at eleven, or it could be, you know, you starting your day at five in the morning. The way you start your day off, you have you have to start it in a positive way. Keep a positive outlook. Keep a positive attitude. Um, it, it really boils down to the, you know, what you put out is what you get back. So I'm always going to think that I'm going to have a positive day. I'm always going to keep a positive attitude. Um, but I, like, I, again, I will match your vibe. You know what I mean? So, cause certain people will kind of, you know, um, you know, rub you the wrong way, you know? And it's like, man, you can't be delusional and think that you know people just smacking you in the face you're gonna keep this all uh, just positive outlook you know nah you know you gotta match the vibe sometimes but all in all you want to be a positive person you want to have a positive attitude right so and that's kind of like what he was getting at in this clip and it you know it was something that he learned you know from this guy and i feel like it's very important you need to start your day out positive you need you want to expect for your day to go positive. You don't want to expect your day to go negative. You don't want to, you know, drag your you really don't want to drag your um your negative baggage into the next day. You know, because every day is a is a new beginning. You see, you see what I'm saying? So you want to make the most of your opportunity every single day that you wake up, that you're blessed with to blessed to see another day, take advantage of that. And the best way you can take advantage of that to be able to reach your dreams is to have a positive outlook on every single day. And it started the best way that you possibly can. So hopefully you guys found value 
hopefully you found some value and some type of inspiration and you gained something from this clip by Steve. Again, go check out his YouTube channel. Um, he has a lot of motivational content that I I devour, <laughs> like literally, because I'm a you know I'm a, that's just how I am. I'm a motivational and self development and inspirational type of guy. That's I'm I'm that guy. So um yeah, go check out his stuff, and um yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this clip. Um, by Steve Harvey. Let me know how you start your day. You know what I mean? Um, and, and let me know what you do to uh, keep a positive outlook on life. So, um, yeah, leave a review. Go to rebeltosucceed.com. Check out the other content there. And um, last but not least, be a rebel. Be a positive force in somebody's life today. And uh, yeah, it's your boy Ant from Rebel to Succeed. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I want to thank you for joining me today and listening to this podcast. If you found this episode helpful or valuable in any way, then I encourage you to leave an honest review and subscribe to the Rebel to Succeed podcast for future episodes. To receive more content and value, make sure to visit the Rebel to Succeed website at www.rebeltosucceed.com. And finally, Always remember that to succeed in life, you have to reach everyone by exercising love. So make sure to show somebody some love today. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you next time.